councils for the youth. Remember now the Creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 1 For the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth. Genesis chapter 8 verse 21 Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may belong upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Exodus chapter 20 verse 12 If they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasures. But if they obey not, they shall perish by the sword, and they shall die without knowledge. But the hypocrites in heart heap up wrath. They cry not when he bindeth them, but they die in youth, and their life is among the unclean. Job chapter 36 verses 11 to 14 for thou art my hope, O Lord God, thou art my trust from my youth. By thee have I been holding up from the womb. Thou art he that took me out of my mother's bowels. My praise shall be continually of thee. Psalm chapter 71, verses 5 to 6. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. Psalm chapter 119, verse 9. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, neither be weary of his correction. For whom the Lord loveth, he correcteth, even as a father, the son in whom he delighteth. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 11 to 12. The Proverbs of Solomon, A wise son maketh a glad father, but a foolish son is the heaviness of his mother. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 1. Hearken unto thy father that begat thee, and despise not thy mother when she is old. Proverbs chapter 23, verse 22. Rejoice, O young man, in thy youth, and let thy heart cheer thee in the days of thy youth, and walk in the ways of thine heart, and in the sight of thine eyes. But know thou, that for all these things God will bring thee into judgment. Therefore, remove sorrow from thy heart, and put away evil from thy flesh, for childhood and youth or vanity. Ecclesiastes chapter 11 verses 9 to 10. Hast thou not known, hast thou not heard, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might he increaseth strength. Even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Isaiah chapter 40 verses 28 to 31. Then were there brought unto him little children, that he should put his hands on them and pray. And the disciples rebuked them, but Jesus said, Suffer little children, and forbid them not to come unto me, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. And he laid his hands on them, and departed thence. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do, that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. He saith unto him, Which? Jesus said, Thou shalt do no murder, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, honor thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. The young man saith unto him, All these things have I kept from my youth up, what lack I yet? Jesus said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven and come and follow me but when the young man heard that saying he went away sorrowful for he had great possessions matthew chapter 19 verses 13 to 22 children obey your parents in the lord for this is right honor thy father and mother which is the first commandment with promise 
that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. Ephesians chapter 6 verses 1 to 3. Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 12. Flee also youthful lusts, but follow righteousness, faith, charity, peace, with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 22. Wisdom reacheth from one end to another mightily, and sweetly doth she order all things. I loved her, and sought her out from my youth. I desired to make her my spouse, and I was a lover of her beauty. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 8 verses 1 to 2. Hear me, your father, O children, and do thereafter, that ye may be saved. For the Lord hath given the father honor over the children, and hath confirmed the authority of the mother over the sons. Whoso honoreth his father maketh an atonement for his sins, and he that honoreth his mother is as one that layeth up treasure. Whoso honoreth his father shall have joy of his own children, and when he maketh his prayer, he shall be heard. He that honoreth his father shall have a long life, and he that is obedient unto the Lord shall be a comfort to his mother. He that feareth the Lord will honor his father, and will do service unto his parents as to his masters. Honor thy father and mother, both in word and deed, that a blessing may come upon thee from them. For the blessing of the father establisheth the houses of children, but the curse of the mother rooteth out foundations. Glory not in the dishonor of thy father, for thy father's dishonor is no glory unto thee. For the glory of a man is from the honor of his father, and a mother in dishonor is a reproach to the children. My son, help thy father in his age, and grieve him not as long as he liveth. And if his understanding fail, have patience with him, and despise him not when thou art in thy full strength. For the relieving of thy father shall not be forgotten, and instead of sins it shall be added to build thee up. In the day of thine affliction it shall be remembered. Thy sins also shall melt away, as the ice in the fair warm weather. He that forsaketh his father is as a blasphemer, and he that angereth his mother is cursed of God. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verses 1 to 16 My son, gather instruction from thy youth up, so shalt thou find wisdom till thine old age. Ecclesiastes chapter 6 verse 18 Honor thy father with thy whole heart, and forget not the sorrows of thy mother. Remember that thou wast begotten of them, and how can thou recompense them the things that they have done for thee? Ecclesiasticus chapter 7, verses 27 to 28. Cocker thy child, and he shall make thee afraid. Play with him, and he will bring thee to heaviness. Laugh not with him, lest thou have sorrow with him, and lest thou gnash thy teeth in the end. Give him no liberty in his youth, and wink not at his follies. Bow down his neck while he is young, and beat him on the sides while he is a child, lest he wax stubborn and be disobedient unto thee, and so bring sorrow to thine heart. Ecclesiastes chapter 30 verses 9 to 12.